All right. I think everything is good. I am assuming I do not have enough money. I'm close, though. I could potentially play, like, a minigame. I don't remember if the minigames actually get you money, though. I don't remember doing slot machine. I... flip side... Let's just, uh... let's... I'll leave the minigames for later. They're fun. So is Plants vs. Zombies just being used to kill time? I... no, not really. I actually just want to do a full series on it. Uh... we're... what are we? A little past the halfway point? There are five chapters and I'm on... I... I'm on the fourth. You know, they used to call me Fogman, because I'd hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Ah, those were the days. Alright, so minigames after this story? Maybe. I think I might just, uh, utilize my time wisely on other things. Uh, oh, hey, it's mushroom time again. So, let's grab the sea shroom. Let's grab those. We'll want the lily pads, the tall nuts. I don't see any door zambos. So let's probably just do torch woods. And do we want to do spike weeds? Yeah. I forget what the fog does. Exactly. Like, I think we might be a little stuck here. At least we know where they're coming from. And we've got the sea shrooms to do the thing. Yeah, fog just obscures vision for your towers. I just didn't remember if there's like a way to manage the fog. It looks like they still shoot, so I guess it's just kind of inconvenient, and I can't place my towers in there. Which, honestly, all things considered, not the end of the world. Oh. Good timing. I didn't even know that guy was there. Yeah, it's a fan-looking plant to blow it away. That's what it was. Okay. Well, this is fine. I am... I am in a comfort, comfortable state and a comfortable state of mind, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly where I've been. The past couple weeks have just been... Honestly, just wild. I'm sure you guys are all <laughs> pretty much as apprised to the situation as I am. Oh, no, I, I absolutely can put my dudes down in the fog. Well, we could we could go with the, uh, the wild card option and just say, like, screw it. Who cares? I don't need to see what I'm doing. I certainly like the idea of that. Okay, I don't remember what the Jack in the Pox jerk does. Doesn't he, like, explode or something? Nope. I guess you just hear him coming. Okay, he's wearing... Is that a regular guy, or is he wearing something weird? Alright. Fixed. Now this is properly Plants vs. Zombies. Let's see, I don't need any more of these. Start getting some of these dudes down. Yeah, abs I absolutely can just put a, uh, a walnut out here. Good idea. No. Let's 
look that up. Hey, you know how I was gonna, or how I put a walnut down here? Oh, the torchwoods also get rid of the fog. down. We should be fine. I did not realize how short this run was going to be. Otherwise, I probably would have brought some uh, cheaper things along. Oh well. There we Lights up an area, letting you see through the fog. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep with the torchwoods. Alright. So what do we do? I almost feel like the three Peters were too expensive, and we'd be better off with just regular repeaters and torchwoods. What am I missing here? Oh, the lily pads. Yeah, this seems reasonable. A little bit more affordable. I could actually get some stuff done. The only problem is we don't have any good hard counters against footboys. Hey, thank you, Cowd Gamer, for the eight-month free sub. This is for fixing the game title. Yeah, thank you. I just, I don't know. Brains mush. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm just a little hungry. Which is working against me. There we go. The lanterns do light up the fog more. I know they do, but the thing is... I don't really need it to be lit up that much, and I'd rather use something that actually has, like, a tangible combat ability. Let's see. A, a, more, a more tangible combat ability than just lighting up the fog. Which is... I mean, annoying. down. So curious which is better, if the Sunshrooms are actually worse. I wonder if the Sunshrooms are, are worse than the Sunflowers. It's just that they're cheaper. Or maybe they're, maybe they're better to kind of offset the, uh, the nighttime detractions. You know, namely, you don't get free sun. Sunshroom is better. Better math. Got it. It's coming down out there. Okay. The lily pads down. Let's start getting these guys. I'm a little, a little leery of what I want to do here. I'll probably skip the torchwoods, get the torchwoods there. First, just so I can see what I'm doing.
Okay. Give him some swim boys. I'll just have to assume we're fine. Tallnut, tallnut. Okay. This might be a problem. There we go. I knew the water dudes were going to be an issue. Just did no win. Who's getting munched? I wish I knew. for a repeater. This one has the walnut, or the tall nut. Which is better than what I've got. I still don't know what the jack-in-the-box zombies are actually good at. There we go. Okay, now that I've got that set up, now let's start looking into, into Torchwoods. Is he shooting? No, he's not. Okay, give me money. I'm gonna get a tall boy down. I guess the torchwood really was not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Oh well, and alas. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. Guess I already got a dude there. Missed that one. Okay. Do I get a sea shroom with a torchwood? Oh, I'll get a torchwood down. Only clears up a bit. <laughs> I'm rolling in it. Let's start getting let's start getting some doubles down. Okay, this one looks bad. I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> we're done. All right, we're good. Shoot spikes that can pop balloons. Oh, right. I'm assuming we need that no matter what. I guess we can just roll basic cacti. <sighs> Honestly, I wasn't using the spike weeds. Let's get the cherry bomb. I'm just gonna go all in on uh, cact cacti boys. We're not really up against a whole lot of actually dangerous anythings, so... Oh, why did I put that there? Whatever. Yeah, what's OP is the cattail. I love the cattail. I would specifically have three rows of, like, sunflowers and or... Uh... You know, sun shrooms. And then just line the center with just cattails and just go nuts. And yes, they are also very cute. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, star spamming is fun too. Man, the amount of plants that I've like just totally forgotten about. Maybe I'll have to suck it up and actually play Plants vs. Zombies too, see if it that's actually good. Still haven't looked up what was the travesty of Plants vs. Zombies 3. And I kind of don't want to. Like, I'm a little afraid, but, s but still. I don't think we actually have any... Uh, let's see. I don't think we have any footballers to worry about on this one. Which is kind of nice. Okay. Do we start? Yeah. I'll just start getting some cacti down. Now, the way to make the cactus actually decent, all you'd need is just one zombie's worth of strike through. That'd be enough. Okay. Bother? Nah. Oh, shoot. Probably start getting these guys down. I kind of wish you could see the balloon bobbing through the fog. Just so you know where to put your cacti. Let's keep expanding these guys forward. I've been a little sloppy about that. sloppy. Let's start getting all these down. That's easy. You bringing the cherry bomb, bomb along was a good idea. Okay. Blows away all balloon zombies and fog. Yup, that's worth it. Alright. We also have dolphins. Otherwise, not bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, if that's the case, we're probably not going to go very long, so maybe it it's worth getting the snow pea instead. Or we just go repeater. Let's just go repeater. We got a number of guys that are going to be up against the zombie. Oh, the dolphins are also zombies. Huh. I don't think I ever paid attention enough to them. Now, is Blover on a lane-by-lane -lane basis, or is it... Do you only need one? I guess we'll find out pretty quick. Whole map. Hell yeah. One way or another, it'll be fine. There we go. That guy doesn't have it have anything. All 
I'm always worried about the very early game, uh, like super early game cone zombie. I want to say I've gotten gibbed by like one of those in the past where it was just like, ah, shoot, I'm not ready for you. Go out, go away. Nope. So recharge on Blover is fast enough that you can keep the fog away the entire time. The big issue with, uh, with doing that purely uh, at least from my own perspective, I would rather spend that money on getting my defenses set. And so if I see a, uh, if I see a bad boy in the air, I'm sending him away. These guys are fine. Yeah, they're okay. be fine. Plus, they're easily replaced. Ah, so much sod. Who's even shooting? You're shooting. So, we might want to prioritize getting the tall nuts down. I'm just going to get some tall nuts down probably a lot earlier than I normally would, but I don't think we have anything terribly gnarly to fight in the water anyway. It's mainly just the dolphins. Okay. that up. Tall nut out there. Okay. And then we cover the other lanes. And then we can start tightening up. I don't know where, why I'm strategizing this so much. I, it's Plants vs. Zombies. I don't really know if I need to be that laser focused. Okay, I think I heard a balloon in there. I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, let's see, do I want to get... Oh, let's get this down. Then we toss a blow through. There we go. Now I know what, what I'm doing. It's suddenly so... Right? I don't know. I, I feel like I was, uh, gosh, what is it? It's like when you're driving and there's sun in your windshield or something like that. And it's just a little hard to see anything and everything. All right, get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Terribly rude. It's still super worth it, but terribly rude. Uh, let's see, what do we get next? Call net up there? Sure. I think these guys are great. Just make sure you leave a clear, clear space for the blowvers. Honestly, they... They don't last very long. So I just stick them in the, uh, the front line. But yes, I could also dig up the puff shrooms on the back. I'm curious. Yep, it doesn't, they don't actually have to be in front. That's convenient. That up a poor defenseless shroom. You get out of here. Be gone. Peace. 
is just... Delete you. Yeah, maybe I should actually just bring the three Peters along. Seemed like they'd be fine. Oh, sweet taco. God, I could go for tacos. What are you going to do with a taco? You found my magic taco! I must have it. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yes, the taco is mine! Why do I give you so much money for a taco? Because I'm crazy! Take a look around my shop. You'll notice I got some new items in stock. Okay, so we've got fume shrooms or cattails. Ah! Uh, yeah. I guess we're saving our do dosh. Me and my buddy Harvey eat flax caster. You used to break faces when we were bored. Well, Harvey's out of town. So you're coming with me, Harvey number two. Break it like you mean it, Harvey. Click on a vase to see what's inside. Destroy all zombies. Isn't this, like, terribly easy? Man, you broke those vases nice and good. Broke them like that time I broke my back digging through those trash cans. I right, bought you some more vases. I'll be careful about breaking them too fast, though. I don't want to end up with more zombies than you can handle. Uh huh. Why did I do any of the things that I just did? Oh, this kind of works out. Careful about breaking them too fast, he says. Well, that was easy. I assume I don't keep, get to keep it. Yep. All right. That should be the last of them. Break those and you'll be all done. All right. That kind of works. I. Okay. Oh, this is convenient. Just load them up. I supposed to be this easy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, the minigame is much harder. I forgot about- what the hell? I forgot about this guy. Shoot speeds forward and backwards. I forget about this one. Remember when the dancing zombie used to be Michael Jackson? Yeah, I'm sure that was not copyright. Kosher. I forget what the digger zombie does. Uh, I guess that's the point of the split P. How much money do it am I sitting on now? Not enough. Ah, they removed it because Mr. Jackson died shortly after the game was released. That makes sense. 